Oh, um, yeah. So I've seen this one from Aaron Cordova and Cordovez. Cordovez, sorry. Um, so uh, he just highlighting the Amazon's refund administration fee. I'm not positive if this is new or not, but it deducts five dollars or twenty percent of the referral fee on returned items. Historically, sellers would receive the full referral fee back on <laughs> refunds. Uh, but now this new fee uh, is taken out of every return item that you have. Yeah, this, I feel like this could potentially, and I I don't know how long this has been around either, and we have very, very low returns, but what about people in clothing? That's exactly what this could kill. This yes. could kill them. You that's, know? The highest, that's the highest refund rate out of all the categories on Amazon is clothing, and yeah, that's, tough. that's really tough. But I think they did just lower the fees on clothing, so maybe it comes out in the wash. I don't know. I, I won't. I wouldn't get in the clothes clothing and and bless you that that do. I mean, but with the with the noise of Timu and the Amazon going um, D to C or direct to consumer with uh, straight from China, the clothing yeah. brand is the first one on the list to be eligible for that. Right. So staying out of clothing yeah. in general is probably it's a very cutthroat category. And yeah. seeing the high return rates, the, you know, sizing issues and so on. And so like they're all different sizes and things like that. So it can yeah. be a backbreaker for a lot of these businesses, a lot of these small brands. Yep. Yep. So but there's my, always been some fee. So like, is it yeah. just higher? Is it just calculated differently? No, they used to refund <laughs> the, the full. But there's always an administration fee. I can. I should probably go into like an old transaction statement from like many years ago. I can, I remember they always charge something. They give you back, or is this in addition to the refund so, administration fee? Well, they always mm -hmm. used to take the uh, the referral fee, right? The fee right. for selling on Amazon. But then when a product was returned, they would refund the full referral fee. Right. And now it looks like they're not doing that for any products that are returned. They're taking the 20% or $5, whichever is uh, lower, I believe. Um, but one of the things that I noticed is if you look at the time of charge right there, it says when the refund is created by the seller. So in mm -hmm. my mind, that's when you go in and create the refund versus the customer initiating the return and getting refunded automatically. Um, but I made that comment on here and a bunch of people were saying, no, there, it doesn't matter. It's for every single refund. They're taking this administration fee. Hmm. But I swear they've always done some administration fee and I'm, maybe it's just how they're calculating it is different. I'm, I'm going back to 2020 in in my managed by stats to see if I can find anything real quick. I'm looking in my payment transactions and this, this somebody in the comments that said, Oh, I can't go back that far. Never mind. <laughs> Cause yeah. reports only go back so far. So yep. I guess you need a, a tool like uh, managed by stats to confirm. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll see if I can find anything. I, I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll see if I can find a report that tells me exactly what my refunds were. And aren't we right now? Aren't we entering in the phase of the longer refund time period as well, where Amazon extends out to buyers the time allowed to return as well? I think that's happening mm. now too. Yeah. So I did find a comment from one person in here that says uh, he thought it was initiated all the way back in 2002. So perhaps it's something that's been around and just kind of noticing it now. Yeah. But uh, regardless, fees uh, everywhere. So you yeah. Gotta, yeah, if no you have a high return that. product, uh, it's you're going to have a lot of fees because they just introduced that other, an additional fee for products that have a, a high return rate. And that's going into yeah. effect in 2025. So you're going to have this refund administration fee and then you're going to have another high return rate fee on top of that. Yeah. So let's see. So I think the moral of the story is to make sure you have a quality product that doesn't get returned very yeah, often. No kidding. 
Yeah. And I can't tell uh, based on my reports what my fees were and whether Amazon charged me. I was looking back at 2020. So I, I can't tell. I do see I'm looking at one of my recent refunds and I have a 75 cents um, refund administration fee. Mm. The referral fee was 375. So 75 divided by 3.75, 21, 21%. 21. So I'm wondering if oh. maybe rounded up, maybe from yeah. 20. But maybe, but what it could also be is maybe they've always charged a refund administration fee and maybe the part you caught Todd is if it's seller initiated because maybe they're charging one because they have to be the one to do it if it's FBA you know with customer service but you as the seller are going to be charged one so you know what I'd like I'd like transparency on all this what exactly are we paying Amazon for in in a simple way in a simple to un, easy to understand documents <clears throat> That'd be nice. Oh, just read the terms of service. It's simple sure. and easy to understand as long as you're a law firm. Yeah, I speak Latin and Greek. It's uh, I totally understand all that legalese. <laughs> yeah. So I I just asked uh, Chat GPT when it went into effect, and yeah. it's not always correct, but it is claiming May 2016. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I swear I've seen refund. <clears throat> administration fees charged before mm -hmm. and so i don't know if they're just changing the calculation on it maybe it's just coming to light you know yeah exactly i think that's why it goes to show you should have some sort of of uh software to track your sales and all those fees like one of the things i i've been using managed by stats since it was in beta right and mm -hmm. one of the things that I like about it is that it it gives you a breakdown of your fees 